Hello, my air signs. Thank you, spirit. Thanks, you guys, for your wisdom, your guidance, your inspiration, your protection, and above all, your presence with us. So, coming through a lot of changes, huh, Aquarius? Uh, first one out for you, my Aquarius, Gemini, and Libras. Um, I'm particularly feeling this for the Aquarius, though. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. Okay, find a balance, get aligned, tune into spirit, okay, tune into the divine. It's time to start making those changes is what I'm hearing. Autumn, release the old and rest. Okay, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, you know, this is a process. It's not a switch. You don't just flip it on and flip it off. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself during this time. We also have the initiate number 18, which goes into a nine, which goes into three threes. Acknowledge what you do not know and learn with a beginner's mind so you can become accepted as an authority one day. Okay, and we are all students and all teachers simultaneously, no matter what we're doing. Okay, so know that um, I'm hearing you're not alone and I'm hearing to trust the process. Okay, the hopeful number 16, which also goes into a seven, the power of prayer and meditation can wake you up, renew your faith, help you to attune to your needs and align with your deepest truths. Really what we're talking about here is staying in alignment, you know, keep unveiling uh, things that you need to process and release and let go. I also have the lover here, number 23, which goes into a five. With love, all things are possible for love replaces your confusing doubts and weakening fears with a faith in yourself and others. So you're getting a lot of messages here to really take care of yourself, understand that this is a process that pretty much everybody is going through this process, right? Um, throughout their life, it's it's a journey, not an event. Okay, so it's about self-care. It's really about, um, you know, kind of tuning into um, the higher self, all right? And trying to um, give yourself compassion here. All right, I'm going to set this one over here. And I'm going to go ahead and do uh, a five card reading for my air signs. First one out is the eight of wands in reverse. It looks like some of you have been expecting a message that has either been delayed, okay, or possibly not going to be coming in. Your present desires is the devil in reverse, which uh, I'm basically getting here is you are learning how to cut the cord and become untrapped, Right? You're stepping out in your power and not allowing other things to control you. You know, we can only control ourselves, our actions, our reactions, our inaction. Sometimes inaction can be the best thing, sometimes not, right? But it shows me here that you folks are learning how to step into your power here, okay? The unexpected is the two of vessels. Now, this could be a partnership that's coming in for you. This does not have to be romantic. This could also signify that you are partnering within yourself, with yourself, with the divine, okay? Or maybe your divine feminine aspect, your divine masculine aspect is kind of coming into a union here. This is going to be unexpected for you. If this is an outside party, that's coming in for you. Um, you're being called to really stay authentic within yourself here. Okay. Um, being your integrity. Uh, we all, you know, if you want a partnership in life, right, you want to make sure that, that you align and that you're, you are valued for who you are. Okay. So it's really important to stay authentic here. In the immediate future, I have uh, the upside down six of wands. Now, normally this is a celebration. I'm going to pull the last card out here. Okay, and it popped out too. This is your potential future or potential outcome. We've got the temperance card and we've got the four of swords in reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically what I'm seeing here is that this could possibly be triggering you in the future here. Okay, you might not... You might not be wholeheartedly excited, okay? Something that's coming in for you 
um, possibly could be triggering some residual stuff that you need to take care of. You're being called to have strength here, temperance, okay? You are the alchemist. You are the balancer in your own life. That includes emotions. That includes things in the 3D. Uh, maybe take some time to get organized and re, you know, really feel solid in what you're doing for yourself. This is going to help you through this process. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. I feel like um, for a lot of you, for a lot of you, this is going to spur you forward. Okay, whatever the situation is here is going to give you momentum and motivation to move forward. Now, with that being said, if you're experiencing feelings of grief or anger or it could be happiness or whatever, just make sure that you're cognizant of what you're feeling as you're moving forward. The basic thing that I can tell you here that I'm picking up is to stay in the present moment. Okay, stay in the present moment. Check in with your body. Our bodies know things way before it gets to our brain. Um, you know, how is your body feeling? Is your jaw clenched? Are your shoulders tight? You know, when you're around certain people, how does it make you feel? And then ask why. Okay, delve into that. All right, so let's get some clarification here on this Eight of Wands, please. Thank you. Yeah, I have justice here. For some of you, um, I feel like you have been kind of trying to balance the scales here, trying to put up some boundaries, and um, there's been some issues with that, and you are not the only signs to, to be encountering this. Um, as I said, I feel like you have seen past the illusions, you know what's been holding you back, the obstacles that have been in front of you, you've decided to move forward here. This shows me three of wands, mind, body, spirit. You are in alignment, realizing that the past is here, the future is here, and maybe you're, pa you're forging your own pathway forward, okay? I'm hearing for a lot of you that you have gotten advice from different people, and you're basically taking that, weighing it out, but you are coming to your own decision here, okay? When we make life decisions, they should be our own decisions. Yes, you can get advice, uh, normally, a lot of us will go to different people because we know what they're going to say or the tone of what they're going to say, gather that information, and then really take time and reflect. And that's what I see you doing. I see you forging your own path forward here. We have the chariots and temperance in reverse here. Okay. Um, again, which kind of shows me this could be something from the past. There could be a, a reunification here in the immediate, immediate future or an attempted reunification. Um, I feel like somebody in this situation, this could cause some, some anger or um, rather than the celebration here, this could cause some discomfort. Somebody's going to have some strong feelings about this, which is why you've got the temperance in reverse and then the temperance moving forward. Okay into a potential outcome. So you can either, um, you know, kind of cut your losses, but you still want to come, you want to act from your higher self is what I'm hearing. Okay, there is no blame. Sure, people make mistakes. Okay, not everybody sees things from the same way. We're all unique. And it's about respecting each other's journey, respecting each other's process. Okay, as well as your own. Yeah, you're going to be receiving clarity here at a really, really root level. I feel like this has to do with your development, how you were acting in a certain situation. Okay, something is going to come about here that's going to show you, give you the clarity here. All right, we also have the Royal Fortune and we have the Upside Down Strength card. Again, this is kind of showing me that there was a huge opportunity here possibly, okay? Possibly getting this clarity is going to enlighten you as to an opportunity that is coming in in the future and you're being called here to self-regulate, okay? To tame that beast, to make sure that you, with the temperance card, to stay in balance. You could be dealing with somebody or an energy around you that is not balanced, and you need to just, you know, you need to understand that. Or it might not just be aligned with, you know, maybe somebody sees things completely different than you do, which is fine. Okay? But there is an opportunity here 
to you know provide this justice and balance the scales here and it's really important moving forward for all of us that that is kind of you know what we're all trying to do in our life right past present future all right for those of you that this might be a love relationship i'm just going to get a couple other cards here okay I've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So uh, for some of you, again, if this was a love relationship, I feel like you, there's some really strong feelings here. Okay. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you, this could lead to an engagement, which is kind of strange here because we've got, again, we don't have the card of celebration in the upright. So I'm thinking that possibly this coming in for you, whatever this energy is, okay, could um kind of trigger you a little bit all right you're being called out here again to trust in the unknown the initiate right the hopeful and the lover the initiate again acknowledge what you do not know and learn with the beginner's mind so you can become accepted as an authority one day this can be in work and this is also spiritually and emotionally okay because we're all going through some really massive changes right now all right it also, um, the card that is coming up under this is finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I don't know what that means if maybe you're overspending, okay? Or you feel like you have to, um, you know, have, spend a bunch of money on this person, okay? And, um, you know, it's more about being authentically yourself, Okay, like how, what are you trying to align to is what I'm hearing. All right. Yeah, we have the two of cups in reverse, the world in reverse. Wow. And the ace of swords. So this could also, for some of you, be an ending to a partnership. You feel exposed here. It was a missed opportunity and you're starting to get clarity on that with this ace of swords. All right. Again, if this is a past relationship or, you know, something in the present that's happening right now, I feel like um, I feel like you have some really mixed feelings about this. Let's get a card out here and see what our air sign should be doing, because you folks are usually the cards of clarity, right? Reason, intellect. And when you get into your emotions, sometimes that can be really hard for you, really confusing. But we're being, all of us are being called to find the things that we need to work on and develop those skills here. Okay. Perhaps you're getting clarity on a past situation for some of you and trying to move forward. We have the cow coming out here as a, a guide, an animal guide. Number 20, nourishment, abundance, asking, and receiving. Notice it's the white cow, a sign in itself. Okay, so this is a time for all of us where as we're letting go of things that no longer serve, we're trying to build new things, new worlds, our new world on a higher level. Okay, it's about asking and receiving. It's about nourishing yourself. And that's specifically by tuning in to the divine, okay, to your higher self. All right. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Lady of the Lake. Absolute truth, courage, self-respect, responsibility here. Take responsibility for what is yours. Okay. This is about rebirth. And it's about accepting help from another. Okay. And delegating authority. So if this has to do with your finances and career, if this has to do with stuff around the house, if this has to do with your spiritual life. Okay. It's about being open here. Being open because the rebirth process is um, definitely a huge transition. Okay. Be open to support from guides. I'm hearing somebody is surrounded by some people that don't necessarily have their best interest at heart. These are people, I feel like these people were involved in the disillusion of something from the past here. Temperance card again. 
okay patience with yourself and with others it's respect it's equitable we've got the hierophant here somebody could be dealing with someone that has some pretty rigid belief systems okay know that um the universe always balances things out okay we've got the sun here upside down and we have the ace of cups in the reverse as well and i don't normally read these in reverse but I'm feeling here for this reading that possibly somebody could be really stuck in some rigid belief systems or some kind of behavior cycles that is holding this back, okay? Um, which is why we got the cup and stuff in reverse down here, the cup in the world. Like, they're not open. Somebody is not open to this, okay? And that is kind of the obstacle, and you're being called out to have patience. I feel like this... Um, situation again i keep hearing triggering okay triggering or confusion okay in and out energy is what i'm getting okay and and we are being called out all of us to take responsibility for our part in all of our relationships like really look at it from another poor person's perspective wow that's way too many cards yeah, I've got a 10 of wands here in reverse. This um, this could have been really cumbersome. And I feel like uh, this partnership has the potential to have a huge harvest here, okay? And to move forward at a really good pace. I mean, you got the 10 right out of the get-go, but something, there's an obstacle here that is holding this back. And again, this could be, I read that was kind of a love partnership. Now we're going back to the general reading. This is this partnership in general. Again, we could be talking about you and your energy kind of, you know, unifying to move forward. I'm also hearing that somebody out there needs to um, take a minute and understand how far you've come here. How far you've come. Look back a week, two weeks, a month, you know, three months, six months, a year ago as to where you were, as to where you are now. And you need to kind of, that's part of having patience with yourself. Yeah, we have a nine of pentacles in reverse and a ten of cups in reverse. I feel like some of you feel like you're missing out on a huge opportunity here. Okay? So, um, that's really interesting. I'm going to ask a quick question here. And then, uh, let's see. Spirit, can you give me some clarification on this upright Two of Cups, please? Yeah, I feel like some of you are still processing some deep grief here. Part of doing that is to accept your responsibility for your part in that. Like you can't truly let things go. They'll stay in, they'll stay there and they'll keep nagging or re-triggering, you know, cycles until you understand what your part was and deal with it. Like you have to face your stuff is what I'm getting. Temperance card again. Okay. This is about balancing and aligning, about tuning in to the higher self, about having patience, not only for yourself, but the other person. We've got an upside down queen of pentacles here. And the Seven of Swords. So I feel like, you know, this used to be, you know, a very nurturing relationship. There was really high potential. This could be a person or an energy. Like perhaps it's your divine feminine that is upside down rather than nurturing yourself. Okay. Although I do see we have the Seven of Swords that came up in the reverse. And this is showing me that you are, you are growing in clarity here. Okay, or that's what's needed. You need to take some time out here and really understand, you know, not only your reality, but the other people's reality and then kind of come in and balance. I really hear something. I just keep hearing respect the journeys. All right. Okay, we have earth, earth mother and birth. Some of you could be dealing with a mother energy. All right, this did come up in pretty much the upright. So maybe you are very cognizant of the fact that you need to be mothering yourself. Perhaps this is a relationship that has to do with a divine feminine aspect in your life here, okay? Maybe it's about you learning to nurture yourself the way your mother used to do it or as a mother, 
Okay, maybe take a step back and, and look from that perspective. And if you're men out there listening to me, understand there is no gender. We all hold the divine feminine and the divine masculine within us. Okay, and it's about nurturing both of those to a higher level to where they can unify and we can be in balance. All right, we also have fire, knowledge. And this also came up in the upright. Okay, so I feel like for a lot of you, you are gaining knowledge in, in this is, you know, present to, you know, pretty much like near future here, if it isn't happening already. Okay. Um, and I'm going to tell you that this relationship down here, 10 of wands, nine of pentacles, 10 of cups, it's like it was stopped abruptly right before all this harvest came in. Okay. So you are going to get clarity. That's double validated here. All right. Um, I think, again, this has to do with um, really finding, taking this strength card and turning it into the upright, which is tame the beast, inner, tame your inner beast. And to do that, you have to be able to identify what, what the obstacles are. Okay, what is appropriate, what is reasonable, and what you want to move forward. All right, I hope this was helpful. Please take good care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, be kind out there.